Hey guys, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. Thank you so much for joining me for this live stream. Today, we're going to go over roundworms. And roundworms, guys, are one of the most common parasites that I see in the veterinary hospital. And honestly, they're one of the easiest diagnoses out there because they're so common and they're so easy to diagnose and so easy to treat. So what my game plan is for the day for us is I'm going to go over you know, what you're going to see at home, how the veterinarian is going to diagnose it, and also how we're going to treat it. And then as always, guys, we'll go to our comment section from the weeks and months in the past. And I'm going to comment on a lot of these comments that are brought up. If you have a comment, please add it to the chat section or you want a topic, I will hit on that. Um, next live stream. I'm still not going to be uh, tackling the chat section at this point uh, for a handful of reasons, but mostly because it's so incredibly hard for me to do all this at one time. Let's get started. So roundworms, guys. Roundworms, and I got this from VCA's website, and it says, you know, roundworms are parasites that live freely in the intestines, feeding off partially in, in te uh, digested intestinal content, and their name is derived because they are tubular in appearance. I tell most people that with your roundworms, guys, they look like chow mein. They look just like chow mein. So if you have a puppy or a dog and you're seeing chow mein come out of their butt, it's probably a roundworm. Now, what does it look like, guys? The chow mein looks like this right here. It's tubular in appearance. They're kind of rigid and white in appearance. And this is a round worm. And usually they come out of big chunks. Now, how does a doggy get a round worm? Uh, let's, let's first talk about any doggy. So the deal is, guys, it's going to be fecal oral. I know. <laughs> That's incredibly gross. But you know what, guys? Dogs explore their world with their mouth. They're always licking things and chewing things and eating grass and smelling other dogs' butts. Like they just, it just, it's a mess out there. So that's why they're so prone to intestinal parasites like, like roundworms. So let's look at this diagram right here, guys. You can see this cute little puppy dog has roundworms, we're saying. And then there's an arrow coming off the back end of the butt and you see this round circular egg. And then the egg kind of loops all the way around and it ends up back in either a small animal that's ingested or more commonly back in the dog's mouth. So let's say your doggy poops in someone's yard and it has a roundworm and you don't clean the dog's poop up. Magically, their dog gets poop because it fecal oraled your dog's poop and now everyone has roundworms. That's how easy they're spread and how they're such a nuisance. And the other way, guys, and this is why a lot of veterinarians or all veterinarians should push fecal so hard is because if you look below the mommy dog, there's a, there's a puppy. And puppies are prone to getting parasites from mommy dog, uh, especially roundworms. Because in utero, when the puppy's being made, the roundworms migrate into the puppies through the uterus. And also, guys, they get it via the mammary milk. So when doggies are, puppies are eating, drinking the milk, they also get the round rooms that way too. So it's just, my goodness, it's a rough life being a puppy because mommy doggy just hand out. I got some for you guys. Get some for you right here. Here you go. Mommy dog is just handing out these parasites as they are nursing. So there they come, all wiggling right into mommy dog, right, right from mommy dog to the babies. Okay. So, you know, a lot of people also are like, Dan, I don't see anything. Like, I don't believe my dog is a parasite. Why would you have a poop sample? It's because a lot of people may see these worms, but most of the time, guys, they're microscopic. You're not going to notice. You're not going to see them. So let's have a look here down here. And we're going to throw this on there. And this is from another one of my videos. And, um, you know, we can have the little arrows bounce around here when we press play. But all of these little circle things, guys, are round worm eggs. Gross. And you know what? They're, they're microscopic, so you're not going to see them. But, you know, how does your veterinarian get to see them? How do, how do they visualize them? So I'm going to break that down for you. What a veterinarian is going to do is they're going to walk in and they're, they're going to say, we should do a poop sample or fecal exam. And you're thinking, that's kind of weird. And then I'm thinking, yeah, I'm just living, I'm living life here in paradise, looking at poop samples all day because 
I look at poop samples every day. And if not, I'm sending them off to a reference lab. But at least half the dogs I see on an average day are getting a poop sample done. So what we're going to do, guys, is the veterinarian takes the poop sample. They smash it up a little bit um, in a little plastic container. Uh, or they centrifuge it. They spin it. And then uh, they use some kind of solution that is pretty darn dense, uh, like a sugar solution or something like that. And then after they do that, let it sit for a second and all the parasite eggs float or percolate up towards the surface of this little container. And we put a cover slip on top, a piece of glass, a little, little piece of glass. And all the eggs, guys, just collect right there. So after about 10 minutes, we take that cover slip off. And we put on a microscope slide and we look at it under the microscope and that's when we see this magical stuff like right here we see all those little eggies so you know um we just scan through and everything is is we say no parasites observed because it is very possible guys that we scan through the whole slide and we don't see anything so it, we're always just scanning and um but man if you, if you have that many eggs you have quite the sick doggy so if your dog has parasites, we can notice at home. Now, remember, we're talking roundworms in particular right now. Roundworms can be a host of different symptoms. Now, in most cases, guys, roundworms are not like threatening, but you don't want them in your doggy because it makes your doggy not as healthy. And roundworms can also be spread to humans too. So with roundworms, guys, um, upset tummy, like diarrhea and vomit are really common. Now, I want to share this comment right here, guys. This person said, Bunny said, my puppy threw up 15 uh, roundworms in one go today. Gross. That's a lot of worms. So I um, had no other symptoms. So it was shocking to say the 24 hours said uh, that tomorrow. Uh, okay, so here's the deal. Like you may not notice any symptoms, but yes, they can definitely throw up roundworms too because roundworms are in the intestinal tract ingesting you know food but if you have a high enough burden they can definitely to the stomach and anything that shouldn't be in the stomach or the intestines can cause nausea and if you have nausea you can throw up and if you have a big enough vomit you can throw up those worms so there's your problem guys all right so let's go ahead and jump over here to clean up i saw this one from uh Jermaine, and he says, like, he says, hey, hello, Dr. Dan, my puppy is, has um, been proven to have worms yesterday, just like questions, uh, how do you, how do you clean after the puppy has pooped? You clean super well, like, you leave nothing behind, so you should be scooping as well as possible, maybe even spraying the yard down with a, with a hose, like, guys, you need to make sure you wash everything away and clean up as best as you can, because it's all fecal oral, I mean, there's other transmission routes, but with the adult dog, and if you want to get reinfected, it's fecal oral, and some of these eggs, guys, are really, really robust and strong in the environment, so you got to make sure you clean up house really, really well. All right, so um, basically next is once you have a diagnosis of it, how do you get rid of it? And um, I just went ahead and uh, I got some of these. Up. I literally just screenshot uh, from Amazon. And as you can see, there's like pet armor, there's seven-way dewormer, canine dewormer, triple wormer. But the thing that's the, what's the, thing that's the same about, about all these guys is, um, is pyrantal. And um, pyrantal is one of the most common drugs used as a dewormer for roundworms. And pyrantal is inexpensive. It's cheap. Now, I, I tell everybody, you need, you really need to get a diagnosis first. So please get diagnosed. All these, all this kind of stuff, always go to your veterinarian first, get a fecal, get a fizzle, get a diagnosis before you start treating. Because if you're treating without knowing the actual underlying cause, you're, you're guessing. You're guessing. Um, so you should always be doing that first before you get any samples. But um, I do have a link below uh, for my Amazon store where I have py uh, pyrantal option for people if they want to click on it to get a dewormer. But roundworms are incredibly easy to get rid of, and uh, a round of pyrantal is great. Now, there are other meds you can use too, but the thing I want to stress, guys, after you deworm, you want to know your dog is clean, right? Because, my goodness, like, a lot of doggies live in the house today. They hang out with us. Um, they sleep in our beds. And we don't want a worm in the intestine sleeping next to us, right? That's gross. So getting a fecal exam 
exam, I usually say two to three weeks after the deworming to make sure we're clean. If we're not clean, you are remedicating, my friend, because uh, it should be clean after three weeks. So I hope that really helps, guys. Um, Roundworms are definitely have a special place in my heart. They are a unique parasite, very common, and something that we should be deworming against and checking for on a yearly basis. All right, guys. I'm Dan. I'm a veterinarian. I really appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me. And then in the near future, I will do the chat, but um, I'm just trying to uh, work my way through all these little clicky icon things before I get too confident with the chat. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to comment on them. You guys take care.